may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. There's late breaking news coming out once again. There's an attack, this time it's in Iraq. Now they're saying Israel is the ones over this attack, but nobody truly knows who's doing it. So, let's look and see what we got. There's tons of news coming in. It says large explosions are taking place inside of Iraq at this hour, as around 8 o'clock. Reports say Israel is attacking camps at Iran's Revolutionary Guard. Eight killed, dozens injured. Channels of Islamic uh, Revolutionary Guard, IRGC, are already reporting that at least eight members of their popular mobilization uh, forces in Iraq have been killed and dozens have been injured. Reports say that Costco, perhaps Costco's base, is completely obliterated. A senior Iraqi official has said that tonight's explosions in the Kayo base of popular mobilization force in the Babylon, uh, something of eastern Iraq is believed to have been caused by Israeli airstrikes. Now, the main headquarters of Hezbollah, a key ally of the RGC in Iraq, are based in uh, Jerf al Saqqara and southern Baghdad. The Popular Mobilization Force has released a statement regarding tonight's explosions at the base in the Babylon area. An explosion occurred at the headquarters of the Popular Mobilization Force there at the base. It says, American official, the American military has no activity in the area where an explosion occurred at Babylon, Iraq. How says the statement of the American official above is not entirely true. There were minimum of 10 U.S. drones in that area during the attack. Some speculated that about five U.S. drones were allegedly responsible. So we don't know if it's America taking these out or Israel. Some were speculating about the five drones. I suppose plausible deniability is a good approach if that is exactly what's happening. So right now we've got a major attack going on in Iraq. We've got a major cyber attack in Europe and in America. And now this. I guess them heifers was sacrificed on the 18th. I think we're starting to see that now with everything that's going on. So we're going to keep you updated on this because this evidently this is escalating within the, just like I said in the last hour. Uh, it was all coming in. I was trying to do videos and trying to get it out, but my phone kept, I had to finally take my phone off the hook to be able to even do the video because everybody was calling me, calling me, and calling me. So I couldn't even get uh, through to be able to do this. So what we know now. Is there is a major attack going on in Iraq as they're taking out Iran forces. We don't know if it's American or Israel. We do know there is a ton of American drones in the air over that place. So we're going to keep an eye on it. Like I said, it's going to be another long night, people. But the world is definitely at war. It's definitely at war. Seems like this is all the time now. And it just keeps building and building. And God has told us three days to watch for Passover. So something's going to happen there. So we're watching to see if there's going to be an escalation. And this right here is more escalation as we speak. So one day closer. Thank God. Trust the gospel. First Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, and future. He died and was buried and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. If you're out there and you're lost, right now is the perfect time to get saved because we just don't have much more time. This is getting worse and worse by the day. And the dime is ticking. Trust the gospel. Trust the blood of Jesus. Call upon him today before it's too late. Because we're definitely in the last moment. So I want to thank everyone who bought me coffees today. And those who sent the mail. Got a lot of mail in today. We got a lot of letters. Uh, appreciate all those letters. And also the ones who bought the super stickers here on YouTube. God bless all of you. We're going to keep an eye on this. Keep monitoring it. But right now it looks like 
everything's chaos again tonight. This time it's in Iraq. So we'll keep you updated here. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.